All right, boys and girls. If you recall in our last episode, we showed how we could use the Arduino and write a set of control laws to govern the behavior of a motor control circuit based on the joystick inputs. And what we're doing today is we're creating a test circuit. And this circuit is designed to control one motor, uh, to drive it forward and to drive it in reverse. So this is our test circuit. And what we have here is uh, 18 volts total power input in the form of two 9 volt batteries hooked in, uh, hooked in series. And to that we apply it to the board and then we're feeding power forward to a uh, 12 volt regulated power supply. And we run 12 volts out to this line here so we create a 12 volt bus and we run 12 volts back to this guy, which is a 5 volt uh, regulated power supply, which we then run here and we create a 5 volt bus. And we've cross connected the grounds from here to here, here to here, here to here. And we're going to use the 5 volt, the 5 volt bus. Um, to simulate our TTL logic that's, that would be coming in, in from the Arduino. But we're not going to use the Arduino now because, well, quite frankly, the Arduino costs more than all these pieces and parts combined. And if we're going to smoke anything up, we're, we're not going to do our, we're not going to burn out our Arduino on this exercise. So, um, as I said, we're creating plus 5 volts on this line here. And we are going to input that into this guy. This is a Darlington transistor array. There are eight arrays on one chip. Uh, we're only using two. Uh, one for motor forward and one for motor reverse. I have over here two, uh, two high resistance um, resistors. They're, they're 2200 ohms uh, as pull down resistors. Uh, they're redundant because the, the DTA actually has uh, pull down resistors internally. However, uh, I added these in primarily so I could actually see where I need to drop the probe to input the signal. Uh, the output of the of the uh, of the DTA is then fed forward to uh, one of two relays, depending on which which input we trigger. And then when we trigger the relay, it closes. These are double pole, double throw relays. And when it's closed, it will bring forward 12 volts, which will then power our motor circuit. And it'll drive our motor either clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on which one is uh, activated. And uh, to protect our circuit, we've actually added um, A number of switching diodes uh, to handle any any kickback from from the inductive load when we when we release the uh, the relay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to spark it up and we're going to see what happens. So let's add 18 volts. And since we've run the 18 volts to the 12 volt to the 5 volt um, I've added an LED over here that lights if the 5 volt is active so if this is lit then this is working and work good so um, we take our motor in hand and what I've done with the motor is I've added some tape so that we can visualize which way the motor is turning and it's just blue painters tape with red electrical tape on the other side so that we can we can tell quite easily which uh, which side is um, which way it's turning. So I'm going to take our 5 volt probe and we're going to set one input high. Yellow. Well that's called torque. Alright so it looks like we are going counterclockwise this way. And if we hit the other one, we're going 
clockwise. There you go. You can see that much easier. It's it's winding up on the blue side. And if we want to unwind it, there we go. All right. Well, that looks like a successful test. Uh, next step will be to uh, hook the Arduino.